Okay, so this is day 19 of the 30-day servo motion project. And uh, what we're going to do here after we've... Uh, so if you missed 18, we actually made the clients and we got it running. Um, we kind of recap on that. Um, I can show you real quick. Uh, we got the... We got everything uh, tied in, you know, it's using our uh, macros, uh, startup macros, uh, client keys, everything. Got the bottom header bar, our bottom uh, footer put, put in, the header working, everything tied in, working well. Um, this is just, again, a recap of where we're at. Um, and at the same time, you know, we're, we're, what we're going to do on this video is uh, come back and, and make our first screen right so we want to make the first drive screen like a drive train control screen or something so this is the client fully running again this is um, just the uh, screen that we we made for the landing landing screen uh, this is the system fully running um, again we're going to use client, key, client keys to shut it down and we're going to make our first screen so uh, We'll call this the drive chain screen, but what we want to do is go ahead and get our properties put in here and mm, let's see, 24, 1080, or let's say 10, 24, uh, allow display to resize. Uh, All right, so maximum size to run screen, correct. On all that in place. Uh, we really don't care about background. We're gonna do background. Actually, we do, let's just, there's still a gray background in there. Uh, let's see, I don't know, maybe something like that. Um, the place, again, yes, we want to do all that. That's good. Um, open up full screen. And I don't know why, but we have a little, what is this? Uh, so again, I think that screen's a little too big. So let's take that down. Um, So, maybe that's the, uh... anyway, so what we want to do on here is we want to make the drivetrain. I don't know what this is, so we're going to get it out of the way. I didn't add that. Actually, let's kill the screen to another one. Alright, so new, display, use current, while resizing. Uh, maximum window come in here and call it good okay so um, with that said let's go ahead and make our um, make our drivetrain what we want to do is we want to make a couple drawings um, so what we'll do is Well, we can get objects from somewhere else if we want to. Um, but we want to do... I don't think that'll work. No, that looks stupid. So, let's do this. Uh, drawing... Image. I don't think I have any images in here. But we can tell. Library was library look like uh, conveyor belt. Undo a conveyor belt. Can do one if we want to. Let's do that. Let's see what a conveyor belt looks like. No, I don't know what 
that's nothing what I want. Yeah, that's nothing what I want. Um, yeah, sorry about this. Um, kind of want to have all this picked out, but again, I, I'm trying to make it live. So, uh, motors. We can put motors in there if we want. Um, really, what I was kind of wanting to do is just a basic. Yeah, let's just do that. Let's just cancel this. Go in here. Um, into libraries. And then go to. Even if we have to pull something out of an existing conveyor parts, I really don't want to show conveyor. So, let's do tanks. That's really all I want. One, actually, let's just change the color. Uh, change the color to like a orange or something. And we'll have one right here. This is just symbol, like a symbol. One, two, three, four. So what we'll do is we'll go ahead and make this like the like a system, you know, like a like a I don't know. We'll we'll call it like a web path or something. Um, so we want to go ahead and arrange these, get them arranged, and we'll do top, and then we'll do these at the same time. We'll do the top, and then, so we'll have them. Looks like the space between here and here is a little different, so we'll come back in here and, and do that again. Range top. And then we want to make a line. <coughs> so drawing <coughs> line. We want to do line from here to here. Actually, let's take that back. And then from here, from here to here, and this is just, just like I said, this is kind of a dummy screen. It's not, not nothing, anything fancy. It's just to show the, the system as it runs. If I can get that line lined up, it'd be good. It's the aggravating part. Okay, and then we do one more. So again, line. So we'll do another one. Um, let's see. Yeah, that one in there. Okay, so I'm basically showing like a web path or something um, of a machine running. 
uh, I kind of want to do a conveyor system. I mean, it, it really depends on what you want to do. Um, but like I said, this illustrates what I'm talking about. So, okay, so uh, this gets our screen. Okay, so this shows like a web path and some roles and stuff running. Um, and what we'll do, we'll go ahead and throw some names into these. We'll call this Axis 1. And we'll make this 14 in bold. We'll copy, we'll copy this. Actually, we get to a copy, paste, paste, paste. And trying to make this a little bit quicker than it should be. Kind of not take up too much of your time over some of this stuff that's not so interesting. So two. Axis three. Axis four. Okay. So that gets our layout really. Um, what we can do is is come in here and line these up to you know like a range. Top. Make sure they're they're lined up. Make sure everything's good square and, and you know, has good look to it. Okay, <clears throat> so now let's go ahead and throw in the draws. So what we want to do is have uh, like a numeric input. Like a numeric input. Let's see, tab one. Actually, hold on, let's do, let's do numeric display first. And we'll call the numeric display. The numeric display for the draws, um, because that's what I want to show. Actually, for the numeric display, let's do the, the running, what's currently running. So we'll do the average velocity of each one of these. So we'll come in here, grab the tags, and go back to our HMI system. And we want to come back in like tags. Uh, what we can do is update our tags update the folder make it kind of easier and when we do that we can go down and, and uh, look at our CLX name Let's see no that's not gonna have it that's not what I want okay so put that in there There we go. There we go. Okay, so what we want is average velocity, right? Okay, so if you look at it, this is all the tags that you had in there that we have in the system. And the reason I like doing it like this is because it gives me my complete tag that I need. Right? So this right here. And I check syntax, it's very, it's good, call it a day. So what I want to do is, what we'll do is we'll copy this. Actually, let's, let's build a, a, a small little icon around that, a small little drawing around that. 
panel, get a panel, and then we'll say this is going to be a light gray with an inset. Three. And then we'll throw this on top of this. And what we'll do is we'll bring it to front and so with this we want the name so the fields are going to be 14 that really the field is going to be <clears throat> maybe a four at the very most so at this point come down and say so we'll say uh, we'll have X well, we'll put a, a text behind it and we'll say axis velocity and that way we can come back and, and actually tie all these elements in like well, what we'll do is we'll group every one of these right now we'll group them come down in and copy paste 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 So this would give us, and we're going to build this screen over the next couple videos, like completely, but this would kind of give us a, a starting ground. That I know we're kind of over the time right now. So again, we'll come in and arrange these top. And we'll, we'll do the same thing right here. So we got good orientation, you know, layout. Um, what we can do, uh, so now we need to go in and change this. Uh, we don't want all of them representing axis 1, right? We want to indicate what axis they actually are. So all we got to do is change the tag. So no big deal. Come in and we'll do that now what we we'll do right right quick is so we'll save it and this is going to be uh, I'll say access control screen we'll save it and then we'll run it so currently those are the velocities the system is running so we know that, right? So if we come back and we actually say, okay, let's do a stop. So we issued a stop and all the axes are stopped. If we come back and issue a start, all the all the axes should start. All right. And depending upon their different draws and stuff of that nature, we'll we'll come back and put that in there. But so right now we've kind of did our base layout of the screen. And we're way past our time, so I'll, I'll go ahead and close the, the uh, video out right here. We're going to keep building on the screen in the next couple videos and kind of build it out. And then as we get it done, uh, it'll kind of all fall in suit. You know, we'll kind of throw some state indicators up here where they're at. Um, we'll kind of throw some other stuff in there. Uh, start, stops, and uh, stuff of that nature. So, uh, again, thank you for your time and uh, appreciate your support. We'll have a... Uh, We'll keep building this out and keep getting it done. Thank you.